a good friend of mine named Charmaine Ryan is someone that I play beach volleyball with and she is the primary instructor for a group of students in Watsonville at Second Opportunity School which is part of our community college system. So these are um, students who are getting their GEDs because the regular school system has not worked for them. They researched the Antarctic Treaty, which is uh, an international treaty that says that the Antarctic basically is reserved for peaceful research purposes. There are 49 nations that have signed that treaty, so they researched each nation that was that had signed the treaty, and as well as Mexico, because they added Mexico because a lot of their heritage is Mexican, and that seemed very appropriate. And they looked at what are some of the social challenges in those different countries, and then they wrote affirmations for the countries and made prayer flags for them. So these were white flags and they could create their own artwork on them, which included symbolism of the country, often the flag of the country, and the name of the country, and their wishes for how things might improve in that country. And the flags are incredibly beautiful and we have them hanging in the galley because the community really appreciates seeing those kinds of efforts. And we're taking the flags out to fly in the catabatic winds of Antarctica. And these are gravity driven winds that come off of the polar plateau and whip down off the continent. They're really fast, they're really strong winds, and they blow pretty continuously. So uh, the scientific part of this is that we're going to be looking, placing the flags in different locations and looking at how fast they get worn by the catabatic winds in town versus out on the sea ice versus in a field camp. The other interesting part of this is how this connects into marine science is not only do we have catabatic winds in the atmosphere coming off of the continent, but we have very similar gravity-driven, density-driven flows in the ocean around the continent. So the super cold water from the melting of the ice shelves flows down into the deep ocean and that is the push that pushes global ocean circulation. And without that push, our, our oceans would go stagnant in the deep waters and that would have a huge impact on us because we need the oceans turning over, we need their interactions with gas exchange with the atmosphere to keep pulling carbon dioxide out, to keep oxygen moving and animals living in the deep oceans. So that push actually pushes the water that moves around Monterey Bay and around the rest of the planet and that makes the connection between the Antarctic and the shores of, of, of Watsonville where these students are living.